Well, hello and welcome back to another vlog here today. Today, spontaneously, I am here at Carowinds, my first visit in five years since opening day of Copperhead Strike. I'm headed to Fury, gonna have some fun with that being said. Let's go have ourselves <laughs> an adventure. It's been five years since I've been here. Opening day of the 2019 season. And uh, yeah, I don't really remember anything at all, but let's go just explore together. Looking like everything's open. There's what, 14 credits here total. One's a kiddie coaster, so I don't think I'm getting that. So the objective is to get on 13 credits here today. And with it being the summertime, it's relatively slow. It is a Tuesday right here right now. And it's, um, low 80s right now so it's better than uh my texas trip by far uh but still people uh want to get in some water so everybody's headed to the water park right now and it looks like it'll be a pretty chill day here today getting on multiple rides on fury as well up to you <laughs> uh and also all these other coasters right here so let's do it yes i am passing vortex and you know all these other coasters here but I really want to get on Fury first and then I'll trickle around Copperhead Strike and then so on and so forth. So the top two and then everything else should be a breeze. I wonder if I started the day off with Hurler. <laughs> We're going to hit that though, but uh, Fury's uh, on my mind right now. Let me get a locker and I'll see you guys when I get off. Beautiful sight that Giga is. Let's start this sunny, beautiful day with some Giga love action. I'm getting a locker and I'll see you all when I get off. All right, literally just got off of Fury. I had to pull myself off because it is a station wait. My goodness, even the third go was a walk-on. So I got on three times in a row. Soon about to get on that. Best coaster in the park, arguably Hurler the worst. <laughs> but yeah, just got off. Oh my goodness, three times in a row. It was tremendous. I'm still pro i305 or project 305 whatever you want to call it at king's dominion but this is a really really good uh giga great coaster though let's keep on going over here to hurler next yeah you can literally see right there i'm not going through because you have to put your bags back up but straight on through nobody's there <laughs> it's just walk-ons right now it's it's incredible like i said it's a slow tuesday putting my bag back on oh my goodness fear you was so good so oh by the way uh, twice in the front row first one in the back row i didn't know uh yeah whatever you bring on the platform with you you got to take on so i had my hat the first go and my sunglasses i was worried about my hat and sunglasses the first go in the back row uh, row eight um but i i it hung on then i put myself back in the locker and then got on twice two more times for my second and third go uh in the front row it's definitely was really really elite in the front row uh, <laughs> Just because this is right here, I'm gonna hit this, but I do want Copperhead Strike though in a second, but yeah, people are getting off this. Nobody's really, really thrilled. Oh, Hurler, RMC this bad boy. Me and just this one dude walking on here to get on Hurler right now. And <laughs> oh, it'll be all right though. We're gonna handle this, uh, this wooden beast <laughs> as we go around. No, but everybody's avoiding this thing, but just those group of people that were just getting off and yeah so looping around here this should be a walk on too as well even probably on a saturday but uh <laughs> let's go around where did the guy go my goodness do i have to walk this whole queue or am i missing something but anyways let's get on this and uh my goodness hopefully it's all right oh yeah he's right there just walking up the steps it's literally just at the top of the steps and we should be like the next train or so so let me hop on hurler and then uh hopefully uh yeah, we'll get better rides after. Hopefully this is a good ride. Right, just got off a hurler. Uh, it was super rough. So the kid that I rode with, um, he just said last Wednesday it celebrated its 30th anniversary. He's like, you'll feel every bit of it. <laughs> I did. So we sat in the front. The ride attendant that was there, it, it was uh, running one train. The ride attendant that was there, um, it's going by. He, <laughs> before you could get in the queue, he asked math questions. If you got it right, you sat towards the front where it was better. If you got it wrong, you sat towards the back. Literally, he did that. It was crazy. So, um, yeah, the second half was super rough. The first half was all right. So, uh, we got that out the way. So, let's keep on going. Hey, okay, we're back at it again. <laughs> Getting away from that catastrophe. But, uh, yeah, it's weird. 
uh, best coaster and arguably the worst coaster here but yeah that second half was super brutal even in the front row where it's more tamed uh but <laughs> so beautiful with this paint job right here but uh yeah we're going around i want to see about copperhead strike and then i'll get on uh, everything else but a nice little uh aero coaster action very very cool very cool but yeah that's carolina cyclone i could get on that right now but I have priorities, then I'll hop on that. It's a little later. All of these actually. So you have Ricochet right here. I'm doubling back to all of these, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing I'm in a rush for right here. So let's go around here. Again, it's been five years since I've been to this park, but it's so beautiful. And if I remember, they have a Chick-fil-A here. And it is a Tuesday. And I do have that like meal pass where I can dine all day. It's gonna be a good day. I do love the Carolina boardwalk theming there. And now going into the county fair area, so we're gonna loop around, get lost a little bit and find our way. By the way, um, over here, you do have the full water park over there, which I do need to come back for a visit to give it a go and a vlog for you all, maybe later on this season. But we're headed over here. Look at that beast going right there. We have Copperhead Strike over there. Let's all head on over and uh, let's see if it's a long queue. Yeah, you have a uh, dozy doe right there, flying cobras, an airplane flying in the air because the CLT airport's not too far away. But uh, we're gonna head through this way to Blue Ridge Junction to get on Copperhead Strike. Hey, the water park entrance is right here. It is uh, Carolina, Carolina Harbor to be exact. We're going this way. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying me doing more adventures outside of Georgia because I know I've enjoyed these. And I always feel like these are my best vlogs because new parks new experiences and i'm hyped out here in the sun for you all super fun but yeah let's get on this give it a go this area is always so well themed the one time i've been here before and prior but now i'm starting to remember it from opening day so pretty cool and obviously these, this is one of the rides where you do need a locker so i'll see you all when i get off i remember how packed this was on opening day but it is a nice slow tuesday copperhead strike the sign right there massive monumental but let's go into the locker y'all are safely in the locker be good in there until i get back after this awesome ride on copperhead strike we'll see you. and i am back hopefully you guys were good in there my goodness the theming on that coaster is superb all the way from the launch the queue line actually to the exit the launch with a little show on the side second to none well second to some but really really good here left my bag in the locker so i can uh hit some more coasters and not have to worry um but yeah i brought you guys along with me and i got my hat love my sunglasses though but let's get on some more rides but uh copperhead strike was uh very very solid arguably my favorite coaster here at the park i'm just saying uh i don't think the invert is open actually huh interesting uh let's look around here and see but yeah i love the those mock launch coasters the ones that are out there <laughs> but no that was really really good copyright strike so let's look around here i just want to explore a little bit here so let's see oh cool this actually is the new area that just recently opened with some new rides and stuff by the way it is open so i'm gonna go ahead but yeah this is cool to be here for this since i wasn't able to make the opening of it so let's hop around here in the queue and see what we can do all right thought it was open but i just saw people walking up here because there's shade but it might not be open because i see a train just stuck oh it is open it's dispatching never mind all right let's get on afterburn and uh see how it is for us thing as it's coming in the station was absolutely roaring so the queue entrance is just right here where you see the afterburn sign let's get in not too bad at all the line's just here on the stairs so uh instead of this uh long queue line so just right here so not too bad all right just got off of afterburn right now that was really really good like a really good invert so yeah pretty solid uh going through the tunnels and stuff like a lot of surprises it was really good i liked it um now they were only running one train on this so uh yeah dispatch was a little iffy there one train on this and also one train on hurler uh everything else has been two trains but yeah afterburn was really solid so um i'm thinking about going over to intimidator or it's what thunder striker now so i'm just in this little chill area uh thunder striker uh and then seeing about that get on their hyper and then go around and keep on going 
I think after that's four coasters I've just have done. I think after three more, I'm gonna stop and get some lunch and then ride more rides, get more food because that's all day dining and ride more rides. Sounds like a plan. But yeah, I love this little themed area. This is where I was. It's uh, very, very chillaxed and uh, a nice vibe. So let's keep on going. I will say though, after my Texas trip, uh, Goliath at Fiesta, Texas and the Great White at uh, SeaWorld San Antonio, that was much, much better. So it was good to get on another good invert. All right, the time is 1.23. The reason I know is I asked the team member. So we're gonna head up here to the front of the park to get on Thunder Striker. Still calling it Intimidator in my heart though. Oh my goodness, I remember this from my last visit. That was pretty cool. I wonder if it's open. I'd love to get on some dark ride action a little later on. The Peanuts characters are coming out uh, for a meet and greet. Oh man, such a beautiful day at a beautiful park. I really should add this to my repertoire of parks that I visit. It's only four hours away, so not too bad. The Peanuts characters there behind me, by the way, as I'm marching, I'm leading the march. So beautiful though, man, with Thunderstriker in the background. Oh man, this uh, like Camp Snoopy area of uh, kids area is pretty superb. Here we are, so I'm stopping, gazing, looking around, uh, asking team members where to go because I'm lost, but they're so friendly. My goodness, but yeah, they, she said, team member, it's just straight through here and we're almost there to get on this. Nice paint job, by the way. I forgot over there. <laughs> Nighthawk, I don't know if it's running, and Kitty Hawk. <laughs> oh boy, Flying Dutchman's. Wait a minute, didn't they stop Nighthawk altogether? I'm trying to remember. Interesting. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. I'm just thinking to myself now. But I see people leaving Kitty Hawk's queue, but Nighthawk, interesting. Oh my goodness. It is literally a walk on. Nobody is in the queue for <laughs> Intimidator slash Thunderstriker. Nobody's in the queue. Oh yeah, let's get in here. Love the Misty fans, but literally we just come up here and we're on the coaster. <laughs> a beautiful day. So they're up and then it is my go. Let's get it. Getting off of a Thunder Striker, and I'll just say this: Intrimidator, Intrimidator rather, lives on. My goodness, the trims on the where you're supposed to get floater airtime is atrocious. It's a tragedy. Seriously. More on that as I'm leaving the queue. They should be ashamed of themselves. Like that is literally the bottom three of my hypers out there. Seriously, that was that was nothing. The train's beautiful, and I sat in the dead back, but that was just no airtime. And allow me to elaborate on that. It wasn't atrocious like it was bad or rattly, it was smooth, but it's atrocious because of what it is and what it could be. It's supposed to be an airtime machine, but it's not, it's nothing. It's just a coaster. Yeah, let's go through some pain and get on Nighthawk real quick. Beautiful though, uh, pretty picturesque right here at the front of the park. But uh, yeah, I don't remember doing this last time. Flying Dutchman lay flat on your back. These are crazy, but they're not people's favorites. It's interesting, but I'm about to get on it soon in a second. It is like a station wait, so let's do it. Oh man. Just got off of uh, Nighthawk. That is a piece of garbage. That is a absolute piece of garbage. Carowinds, add cushions for the heads on those inversions. That thing is uncomfortable. The lady next to me was just cussing up a storm. It was, it was funny, but it was crazy. But that thing, that could just go. Yeah. Got off Nighthawk, done with that. Gonna get Kitty Hawk in a second, but I'm gonna pause to eat. I'm gonna loop around and get my, um, stuff out the locker uh and then yeah so we've done six coasters so far so pretty pretty good it's like mm, around 2 p.m got in at 11 30 11 45 ish so not too shabby there's nobody nobody over there for it, copperhead strike but i gotta get my stuff and then uh head towards getting some food i knew it though everybody headed over to the water park carolina harbor which Seems really nice, but I'm not here for long. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> even though that would be a good time now. Uh, but another, another adventure, but let's keep on going. It's not too hot compared to that 170 degree average in Texas. 
yikes. And I will say, with this being the county fair section with all the like fair-like rides, that's really cool and highly well-themed, to be honest. Shout out to the Cedar Fair Parks. It's gonna be interesting with the merger. And the boomerang right there, Flying Cobra, is gonna get that soon. But I just had a head rattle on uh, Nighthawk, so I'll give that a go <laughs> relatively soon. Let's uh, replenish our souls and, and um, get some food. Absolutely love the theming of this area. By the way, they just made a huge like uh, park-wide announcement that uh, <laughs> based off of the heat index, it's an advisory that it's super high. It's like low 90s here today. The band's performing, by the way. But uh, with me going to Texas in here two days ago, uh, before this recording, yeah, I can run laps around here. This is nothing. <laughs> so I'm headed back this way, just to be honest. I got on multiple rides after, and I forgot where I, I left my stuff. But it's near uh, Copperhead Strike, so we're going backwards now. <laughs> so just got done eating at Leonardo's hometown Italian food really big pizza slices and of course i had my dining thing so i ate that at like 2 45 p.m and uh yeah so what i get to eat again at 4 15 so pretty pretty cool so i'm gonna do that and try different foods around the park for a little bit but gotta head around here then going to get on kitty hawk we've done six coasters so far and what we've got like seven we have eight if i'm counting the kitty coaster so something like that I mean, I literally just got done eating. I don't know if I should, you know, let my food digest a little bit, but it's a walk on. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna get in this queue and uh, hop on uh, Kitty Hawk really quick. Cause uh, again, it's just a walk on. So let's do it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, just getting off of uh, Kitty Hawk here. This little guy's a little head rattler, but uh, <laughs> it's all right. We got on it pretty quick, uh, fun, this uh, little girl in front of me that got off she was like uh to the right up keep this right here this is the best ride ever in my life so hey it has fans but yeah got off kitty hawk got off uh nighthawk earlier yeah it's picturesque here at this park though i don't think i mentioned the chick-fil-a i remember that five years ago i don't think it's here anymore i don't think i haven't seen it at least so who knows but yeah let's keep on going that's uh coaster number seven here at the park for the day so after a quick restroom break i know there is the mine train i saw it from the nighthawk queue there's a mine train over there as well as uh gonna get on flying cobras the boomerang right, guys, too because they're, they're both over here well i passed by the front where we started the day and i'm gonna go ahead and get on vortex well about to get in this queue to vortex that because i'm passing it gonna see how this is Coming up next, Vortex. Looks like this is a uh, station way too as well. Not surprised. And yeah, it's a walk-on. Only us here. Nobody's up there. <laughs> so uh walk-on, zero minute two vibes. I love it. Alright, just got off a of vortex. Stand-up coaster. Uh yeah. Um it has great views at the top and nice paint scheme, just like Georgia Scorcher, which is a stand-up coaster at uh, Six Flags over Georgia. Mine trains right there. We're gonna get on that. Uh, I believe next a ricochet, which is just over there. But yeah, that was a uh, painful, especially for uh, us men. But <laughs> yeah, we got on and got the credit. Let's loop around here. But yeah, vortex. It was just it. It was just vortex. It exists. Not awful. Not great. But yeah, we got on it. We got on vortex. <laughs> what I believe vortex marks number eight for us. Number eight so far so ricochet will be number nine on the boardwalk area and the longest queue of the day is ricochet but we we need it and then we're going to get on uh what is it uh, carolina cyclone these coasters are so popular amongst general public i love it but hey i need it so let's hop in the queue just getting off ricochet and uh that was some fun that was a lot of fun actually pure wild mouse janky fun <laughs> but uh yeah we had a good time on that um and yeah let's keep on going i don't have much to say but i actually had fun some of the most fun today i've had on coasters which is a lot of fun at that but yeah pure fun jankiness nothing's wrong with that and next up is the carolina cyclone so i gotta go down i guess to come back up and then board up there but it's a pretty teal color here so uh let's get on this and uh see how it's riding here today literally touched the bottom of the track right there that's pretty cool to be that close so going up here and yeah loop around and then the station's right here and we load on up uh, 
It's just me. Let's go in the front. All right. Just uh, getting off of, uh, what is this? Oh, uh, Carolina Cyclone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a head rattler. Oh, it's fun. These things are classics. Got on it again. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was running two trains. Everything's been running two trains. Uh, had some pretty interesting loops. I really like this part right here, but it's still head rattling. Um, and overall, it was fun. It was fun. Now, uh, Ricochet was running five trains. Everything's been running two trains or more besides Afterburn and um, what's that? Uh, uh, Hurler. But everything's been good so far today. Beautiful park. Beautiful park. I'll share more of my overall thoughts on this park towards the end with the outro. But yeah, you get slammed right there as you're about to go up. You get slammed like down. It's crazy. Yeah. But uh, gotta love those loopers. But uh, let's go around. Again, Ricochet here. I know the mine train is somewhere around here. Uh, by the way, I think that marks our 10th coaster that we've done here at the park so far. It's so beautiful, picturesque over our heads. So you'll see here in a second. It really is just beautiful off-ride though, right here, going around. I've always loved that, my two times now coming to the park, but let's loop around here and uh, three or four more coasters to get. Then I want to see about getting a re-ride on Fury and also what was the Boo Blasters? I like my dark rides. Again, 10 coasters down here at the park. And by the way, in less than 20 minutes, I can eat again. All right, and just right here is the mine train entrance. So let's hop in the queue of, what is it, Gold Rusher? Uh, yeah, Gold Rusher. So let's hop in Gold Rusher. See the Caroline, as it says. Uh-oh. Looks like we got ourselves another station wait. Just got off a of Gold Rusher. That was actually a really solid mine train. Of course, the restraints, if you're <laughs> like five, eight or taller, that's going to be brutal on your knees. But yeah, it was actually a solid mine train. Again, running two trains on that. So I'm pretty pleased. And by the way, Gold Rush for the mine train was number 11 here. Let's just go ahead and hop on Flying Cobras, the boomerang coaster. And I like there's a backstory here to that too. I love me some theming, but let's hop in this queue here and get on Flying Cobras, the boomerang. A little bit of a line right here, but the station's just right there. This will be number 12 for us today. Just got off a of Flying Cobra, uh, right. just got off a of Flying Cobras, the boomerang. Uh, had some intensity, a slight gray out moment there on it, but uh, yeah, it's very comfortable with those uh, comfort restraints, so not too bad, but that wraps up all of the major coasters here at uh, Carowinds here. Now there's two more, there's Wilder Wilderness Run and also Woodstock Express, but I don't know if I can get on Wilderness Run without a child, so I'm not even gonna try that if that's the case. But let's go ahead, I think that's in the Camp Snoopy area, so let's head over there, Flying Cobras everybody. <laughs> I don't remember this being this spooky. I love it though. Forgot to let you all know, but we just uh, rode uh, Boo Blasters right there. Just got off, got a score of like 85,000 something yeah but i was also filming uh, not too bad not too bad but we're walking around here trying to just explore a little bit it's uh getting a lot quieter here at the park and it's cooling down just a tad uh, i believe down there woodstock express is held so uh yeah let's get in this queue and see what we can do in this one nice little uh junior woody over here get on this little wooden coaster and uh probably call it a day maybe but we're gonna see how long Fury's uh, queue is. If not, I think that wraps it up. Oh, cool. <laughs> Just go around here. It's another walk on. <laughs> what a great day. Just got off of Woodstock Express and uh, <laughs> that actually had a one awesome pop of like ejector airtime right after the first drop, the first hill. But uh, <laughs> not too bad. That's a very solid little. Uh, little coaster though so i liked it so let's look around here i think the wilderness run coaster i saw it from the top of the lift hill is over here but i'm not sure if it's operating right now 
and I'm not sure if I need a child with me. Since I don't have my son with me, I'm not gonna go ahead and ask for somebody else's kid to ride with me. But yeah, not too bad. Uh, Woodstock Express, nice little solid, uh, solid little Woody. It is indeed not that, but straight down here, the little uh, little coaster is right here, but it's uh, not operating currently. See uh, Thunder Striker there going down eventually with the trim brakes my goodness <laughs> but yeah the uh little kitty coasters right here nice little landscaping though but it's currently not running and with that being said that'll do it for me today here at carowinds for this spontaneous visit i'm gonna let you guys go here and i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can ride fury one more time but I just wanted to speak on such a beautiful park. Definitely believe I'm gonna add this to my repertoire of parks. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on that. But uh, overall, this is a beautiful park. Everybody's super friendly. Dispatch times are really, really good besides Afterburn and uh, I keep forgetting Hurler because they were running one train. But overall, pretty solid, pretty solid. Fun, funny day, uh, overall a good day. Now, let me just say this park is very top heavy as far as coasters. And what I mean by that is, the ones that are really dominant at the top are strong then it quickly declines like the tier the quality of coasters like there's really elite ones and then they have like not so elite ones but the park is really beautiful park food's really good and delicious um i really enjoyed myself and the day and the coasters overall so definitely want to come back here more and more and also hit carolina harbor the water park but yeah, make sure you all subscribe if you are new. Leave the video a big thumbs up. To my next video and or adventure, take care, be well. Hey, and have a thrilling day.